cooling fan circuits, uh, which are, are in late model systems a great source of problems, uh, dealing, uh, leading to actual overheating of the engine and so on and so forth. Uh, the cooling fan uh, in late model systems, uh, it is actually uh, many times controlled by its own a module uh, or a, a actual solid state relay as it is in Chrysler's. Uh, in this particular system, we actually see how the actual uh, cooling fan, uh, uh, it's actually controlled by its own uh, separate module, uh, which is many times found within the actual uh, motor, uh, very close to, to the motor itself. And here we see how the engine control module takes an input from the uh, ECT sensor, uh, processes this actual input or uh, uh, temperature input, and makes a determination as to uh, how this motor is going to be controlled. In this case, also uh, the unit, uh, the whole system is being interconnected through a network. Uh, so the uh, fan control module, also called the AC fan control module, is connected to the uh, uh, to the system uh, through the CAN or communication uh, controller area network uh, lines. And these are usually two wires. And by uh, simply using only two wires, uh, a great deal of uh, weight uh, and complexity is uh, it's actually being uh, uh, saved and reduced uh, by the use of a network. And in this case, uh, the actual uh, ECM makes a determination on the actual uh, speed and, and uh, control of the actual motor and trans uh, actually transmits this uh, output into the AC fan control module. Uh, this fan can actually be controlled by two different units, the engine control module and the uh, fan control module. The ECT sends a signal to the, e to the ECM uh, for temperature and the ECM makes a determination. Here in red, we could see the, the uh, actual uh, current path uh, to actually turn on the motor. Within the motor itself, you also have circuitry that's also connected to the uh, AC fan control module. And uh, the CAN line or uh, network line, uh, controller area network, it actually transmits, it communicates back and forth with the ECM. Uh, makes a determination according to the commands from the ECM and it actually uh, 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 closes the circuit seen here in uh, blue and uh, gives the actual fan a different speed. Again, you uh, you need this uh, in order to uh, control the actual motor uh, uh, during the different cycles of the air conditioning uh, unit, the air conditioning system. Uh, here we see that uh, by applying very short pulses, and this is a duty cycle control motor, uh, you can actually control the actual output uh, uh, or the speed of the motor itself with very short pulses uh, the speed of the motor uh, it's actually going to be uh, uh, reduced or, or a low speed uh, will be achieved this is needed in case uh, uh, where you need to turn the, mo uh, the, the actual fan motor on in case of uh, uh, low uh, temperature conditions uh, where you don't need uh, necessarily need a high speed uh, 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 to uh, to be activated again if you take uh, this uh, pulse and you widen the pulse a little bit you will eventually uh, reach uh, uh, by va by varying the uh, the actual width of the pulse you can achieve uh, different speeds uh, of the actual cooling fan motor it itself and this is a function uh, within the actual ECM itself uh, and of course uh, uh, the need uh, uh, for a transistor driver, uh, uh, it's actually uh, uh, there. Imp uh, you have to implement this type of system with a transistor, not with a relay. This is why the actual uh, fan is uh, directly controlled uh, to the ECM. By the way, this is a positively controlled uh, fan motor uh, because of the fact that it is directly controlled to the ground line. And again, by widening, and the here we see how when we widen the pulse, the actual uh, uh, the the current path is still the same, but the amount of flow of current flow is going to be a lot higher. And here we see that we can actually achieve high speed without the need of any extra relays or uh, uh, connections. Uh, by simply varying the pulse, we can actually achieve the different speeds uh, uh, for for the actual uh, cooling fan motor itself.